Ho, oh, you filthy animals. If you don't understand what that means, then you didn't see my last video. Whoop. What we're gonna do today is, I'm seriously, I know I say this all the time, I'm so out of breath. <sighs> I know I say this all the time, but I'm gonna show you the absolute easiest Christmas tumbler you have ever seen. It's literally gonna take you like 10 minutes, except for the epoxy part, and then you're done. Like, what? And we're gonna use wrapping paper. Everybody has wrapping paper. Ooh. And maybe everybody has a tumbler. So I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. All right, now to get started, you get some scrap wrapping paper from your presents you wrap, or you just open some and you got some beautiful paper that you hate to throw away. But Ooh. Christmas is not over yet. So we just got some spare paper and I cut it to the size of my tumbler and gave it a little bit of overlap. And Ooh. for this, I've got a just an old tumbler that it just happens to be painted white. It, I don't think it really matters for this because we're going to glue it to this. And what I do want to mention is this is very important. I taped up, masked off so nothing, none of that spray glue gets in the inside or on my handle either because that stuff's hard to get off. So be precautious, spray where you do not care. Put down some cardboard so the glue doesn't get on everything and everywhere because like literally it's not going to come off. So you've got your wrapping paper cut kind of the size, but how many times do you have wrapping paper after you're done that looks like, oh, so pristine and pretty. You could totally keep it that way, but I prefer to wrinkle it up and put tons of wrinkles in it and make it interesting and then open it up and then do it again. Try not to rip it. Just be careful. And we're going to put a quote on this after we're done and if you stay tuned to the end I'll tell you how you can get this tumbler I'm gonna be giving away when I give away my ugly Christmas sweater tumbler live on my Instagram so stay tuned for that okay I was a little aggressive with my ripping so uh, I might have to get another one so I want a little circle piece on the bottom so I'm measuring a little bottom piece to shove on here and I'm gonna cut it out like so then I'll have a little piece for the bottom so it's not gonna be naked you know what I'm saying? Who wants a naked bottom? Nobody. All right, I thought it would be an even greater idea. Like I could do one whole wrap, but I got to thinking, I am not that kind of gift wrapper. When I wrap a present, I use tons of tape and a bunch of wadded pieces, kind of Frankenstein together. Hey, that's my wrapping style. So I figured I use pieces of wrapping paper that don't really fit together. And I always use way too much tape and then I laugh when they're trying to open it and they're like, oh my gosh, how much tape did you put on here? I was like, yes. Oh gosh, that's so funny. Oh man, I love wrapping. I'm terrible at it. Let's get the spraying. So really, I'm not gonna do this on camera because I'm just gonna spray this tumbler uh, with this. Just literally, you wait like 60 seconds. And I'm gonna do this on the other side. I got a piece of cardboard over here. I'm gonna spray this side too. So I spray this and this and then literally just stick it on and we'll cut off the excesses after a little bit and after we get done, okay? So I bring you over here to my, oh gosh. Hey, how you doing? To my spray a play lounge over here where I'm gonna spray my uh, spray glue. Because this is literally my sophisticated setup. Hey look, a box of still Magnolia tumblers. I love those things. I'll show you this, see if you can see it. I loaded that bad boy up with the spray glue and it sprays out kind of not, it's not like spray paint or anything. So I just wanted you to know what to expect and I went around this mug like a bunch of times and of course don't forget your bottom. So now we're just gonna pick the first piece and stick it on. I don't know how we're gonna do it. Let's just do it. Let's tack that mug on, rub it. Oh, hey, you're down here. Rub it smooth and keep on moving. Cover it up, cover that bad boy up. Let's get another one. So sticky. Of course you can do it however you want to. I'm trying not to do it neat, but it really it just lined up just like that. I'm not doing that. Don't do that. I mean, I don't want it neat. I want it to look like a hodgepodge mess. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So just take your time or not. I don't care. Do it however you feel like doing it. I think I'm going to rip this right here. And then we're going to put this down here. Oh, my fingers are stuck. What? Look at that. That's going to be so funny. When I get all these done, put another one right here. Try to do like a little puzzle. All right, go down here. Look at that bad boy, wrap that mug up. We got a couple more. Just don't be too careful with it, just put it on there. One thing I do wanna mention, just try and not, try to smooth out the wrinkles because you don't want any apoxy leaking under there. I mean, it's ugly, but you want it to work. And cover up all your naked tumbler parts under there and you shall be 
Beautiful, beautiful. I think I got all my tumbler covered. Like literally, that was so fast. It's gonna be so funny when I put pieces of tape over here. Oh, I gotta do the bottom part. Let me rip this off. Literally, I'm being so careful and strategic, technical with this wrapping technique. Put the bottom on there real good. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Rub it from the middle out. Smooth that bad boy. Wrap it around. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. That's terribly awesomely wrapped. This is literally how my presents look when I get done wrapping them. Now, this is just for fun and for funny and joke. If you really wanted to do it neatly, you could totally just use this and it'll be like, if you want a beautiful tumbler, you could totally do it like that in one piece. It'll be, you see how beautiful that is. I mean, that's nice, but I like to show y'all different options and I like to make things that tell a story that are funny and that represent like me, literally. This is how I wrap presents. Ask my wife. So now I'm gonna go get some tape. I'm just gonna put random pieces of tape where the seams are to look like. Oh, look at that. It's got fingerprints on it too. Like that, literally, look at that. Oh gosh. Oh, that sells it. That is so perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Boom. Just put them just on the seams or who cares? Just put it wherever. And the thing about it is, uh, if you get the invisible tape, it won't show up as good. This is the frosted. So it's kind of got like a little haze to it, which I think is perfect. Of course you do always, we are being careful. We are making a tumbler. We do want to make sure our edges are down and everything so that the epoxy does not seep under anything and lift it. Cause then that would be like, I mean, it's not a big deal. You just sand it down, throw another piece on and let's keep going. You know what I'm saying? But it's just extra work. That's not that necessary. If you see any white spots poking through, like that's ripped right there, that doesn't count. But if you see any white spots, you want to cover that up, uh, just throw another piece of paper on it, or you just get a Poshka marker and scribble it in. Nobody would ever know, who cares? So when you're done with this, you got it all taped up, you got the tr top trimmed, we're gonna hit it with some Mate Clear A, <coughs> and then we're gonna put two layers of epoxy on here. Then we're gonna put a quote, like you could be done, I don't, you don't have to put a quote, but I'm gonna put a quote on here, and I would put it on here now, but it's kind of bumpy. We got a nice little gangster rapper quote, which is funny. If you rap like this, you definitely are a gangster rapper. The next day. All right, that came out fantastic. And what's crazy is look how wrinkly it looks and rough, but it's so smooth because I put two layers of epoxy on it. And wow, that turned out ridiculous. Look at the tape. It's like, it looks like a legit wrapped present. Badly done, but yet wrapped. So while that was curing, I went to Photoshop and I drew up, uh, I actually drew this one first. And then I got to looking at it, I was like, you know what? That really doesn't match the style of this one. Cause even though it's kind of sloppily done and haphazardly uh, wrapped, it's still a very elegant wrapping paper design and the style did not match. So I was like, you know what? I needed to make another one. So that's when I came up and drew this one. And I feel like that looks fantastic. And this will be available as well as the other one both on my website and I did two versions because I couldn't figure which one. I might put all three on the website, I don't know. So I feel like this one's the winner because that, that'll really bring that out and be like, what, gangster rapper, how funny is that? So now what we have to do, we're gonna wet sand this with 400 grit and get it all smoothied up, slap on our stencil and then hit it with the Mate Clear Air. let's go. Dude, this blows my mind with all the texture that you see and then the shimmer of the wrapping paper. And then look at, just look at that decal. That was such a good idea to change from my original drawing to this one. And maybe you're thinking, wow, that is a beautiful wrapping paper tumbler. Do you think so, Paisley? Paisley agrees. You love it, don't you? Nope. I, you can't have it, because I'm going to give it to one of you. Literally, all you have to do for me to give this away is to like this video. That's it. All I'm looking for is 500 likes, and I literally get that on every single video. So I picked that number because I know you guys can blow that out of water and really impress me with the number of likes this video gets because I really want to give this to one of you. And you might be wondering, when am I going to do that? Well, if you remember, I'm going to be giving this one away live on my Instagram on Friday, December the 3rd at 4 o'clock Eastern time. And I'll just do this one at the same time. And I might even give away the sweater for this one too. So depends on how you guys respond and like this video. So that's all I need you to do. Go like this video. If you haven't seen this, go watch it. And I'll see you on Friday on my Instagram. Let's go.